2022. I want to share information about all the possibilities and included features of our solution. This is, this is the graphical user interface about the solution and we want to start with the backup possibilities. First, we have a disk-based or volume-based backup solution. In this case, we can create image backups from, an, for example, physical machine and we will back up all the data, all the information, sector-based and in running state, for example, database VSS-aware backups. And this is a typical scenario for physical environments or virtual machines which don't support agentless backup feature. Next possibility would be file-based backup. In this case, you can choose folders or files you want to backup specifically and we also do a backup of the ACLs so the permissions uh, of the files and content are also kept with this kind of backup feature so this can be used additionally on top to a regular image backup and we have a feature which is called hyperback this is a feature which allows us to make agentless backups of VMware or Hyper-V environments so let's have a look to this possibility. I have added at the beginning two hypervisor hosts already. I have one A6E7 host and I have one Hyper-V 2019 host. Now the great part is I don't need to install any software on the host or the VMs. I just need to select now my VMs from the hypervisor selection. So first for example I can choose my 2012 VM from the A6i environment and on the other hand I can choose for example my 2019 Essentials machine from my Hyper-V environment. And that's it. You don't need to do anything else. Just select and go next. Next important thing is the backup target. Regular targets like um, local disk, RTX devices, USB devices, but you also could use tape devices. LTO tape drives also supported as a backup destination. So if you have a tape or tape library, you can use your LTO drives and directly make a backup on it. No problem. Additionally, you could use a regular network share from a NAS device, for example, as a backup target. But you can also use Microsoft Azure or Amazon S3 or, or S3 compatible storage provider. So if you have a cloud provider with S3 protocol, you can also use this kind of cloud provider directly as a backup target. Or you have a cloud provider using SFTP protocol, go for it and use it directly. Or you host your own server and share your SFTP account, then no problem. You can also directly make the backups to this uh, cloud destination. So no local backup is required. You can directly make backups into the cloud and of course you can also do the recovery directly from the cloud to a local machine for example. So this is also very important that you have no limitation for the backup targets. When we talk about backup, especially agentless backup, one of major things are we want to have really small image files. So we highly recommend to use our built-in deduplication and compression feature. By default, you have three different levels, and these are different algorithm and strength of the uh, deduplication and compression. So higher uh, level will cause a little slightly longer processing time, but you have really small images at the end especially when you store image files to cloud storage, every saved gigabyte will save you money. So that's why we highly recommend to use deduplication compression to get the smallest image files as possible.